What's up gaming heroes and welcome back to another awesome World of Warcraft video. In today's video, I'm going to teach you guys how to go from basics with, you know, tailoring where you're just using the bla the basic Blizzard UI and you're not really sure how to make profit to being a full TSM user and being in profit with all your tailoring awesome crafts. I do just quickly want to add, I do have my own TSM strings and enchanting strings on my Patreon. So if you do subscribe to my Patreon and support me, you'll get access to erosiumtv.com, which is where I keep all of my guides, all of my TSM strings, everything like that. It's a one-stop shop, guys. So if you do support me, you'll get access to that. But without further ado, let's get into the video. So first is first, I actually, uh, have my auction house at a garrison uh, this is a really expensive thing so if you're looking to do this guys just bear in mind it's going to cost you an absolute ton of gold okay and when I say ton it's about like 100 to 200k uh, to get it set up please do not just come to me and say Erosium how do I do this how do I do this I'm going to explain to you how to do it all right you need a trading post in your garrison level two or level three and then you need to go out and you need to buy all the parts to basically fix the robot that is in your garrison level two, um, which will be in your trading post level two over there. I'll show you in just a sec. But you can basically buy these from the auction house or you can try and farm them. There's no specific location for farming them. Any mob in WAD will drop it. So you just need to be in Warlords of Draenor basically in order to get it. You can get it from a few dungeons as well, but that's effectively how you do it. And eventually you'll get this ancient trading mechanism, uh, which is what I've got right now, which is an auction house, basically. All right, so I've got tons of, of stuff here in my bags, as you can see. But you guys will probably want to know if, if I'm in profit with TSM and, and stuff like that. Um, I'm taking a little bit of a drop here just because I gave my dad 60,000 gold yesterday. He turned 60, and uh, and so I thought I'll give him 60,000 gold to kind of like commemorate that, that fact. So, you know... You, you gotta do that. I should have given like 600,000, but I mean, it just didn't work. 60, 600, it just didn't work, did it? All right, so guys, what I've done is I've created a new profile here because this is your profiles and this basically dictates where all of your information goes. So I usually, usually use my default here, but I'm also using a testy here. So as you can see, um, you see I have no groups whatsoever here, no information, just got a bunch of items here. Um, that's no good to us, right? So what we're gonna do right now is go ahead and open tailoring. Now this is a really, really useful thing that you can do, is TSM groups, click TSM groups, you've got no group there, what do we do? Well, this right here is amazing. Create profession group, done. Whoa. Now what? Well, let's open up TSM and let's show you what that has done. Groups. Tailoring. It has now imported every single item that I can possibly craft with TSM and it's gone ahead and stuck it into one large group. Now, it's up to you at this point. I'm just going to make this a bit smaller so my editor can zoom in a little bit and make it a bit easier for us to uh, to see this in detail. So at this point, you're going to want to go through each of these items and decide whether it is you want to craft it or not. Now, what I would suggest is creating a second group called Don't Craft. And that's just purely because it's going to take too long to sell that item or it just isn't going to deliver on the profit that you're really after. All right, so once that's done, you can go through each of these items and you can decide um, whether it's got a high sale rate or not. A lot of these items aren't going to have no sale rates at all, and that's basically going to mean it's going to take so long to sell that item that you're going to waste gold on just posting on the auction house. So it might not be worth your time, but that's up to you to go through and decide for yourselves what is worth crafting um, all the time and what's not. Now, I do just want to add this really specifically. Say that this as your shoulders here, uh, I, I can remove this and put it into Don't Craft if I want to. Additionally, I can just drag and drop it straight into the group that I want to do it. Or I can do uh, several different ways of, of handling that. That's just typically the way you would go about it. Now, you've got your groups and you've decided, you know, what you want to put. Let's just drag a bunch of random stuff into Don't Craft. I don't know if this is right or not. I'm just dragging a bunch of stuff. So that's Don't Craft. 
Now, for Don't Craft, I'm going to change the operations here. Just tick all of those boxes here. I don't want any of these to be ticked because I just don't want them to be crafted or posted in the auction house. I don't want to deal with them whatsoever. Now we're going to make some basic operations for you. This is super easy. It's not at all hard, so do not worry, guys. Crafting. Default says 100 gold. You can keep it as a, a hard figure like 100 gold if you would like. That's completely fine. You can have a hard figure like 100 gold if you want to, or you can set yourself a really simple crafting method such as 15% crafting. And what that will do is make sure that you're getting 15% of the crafting cost as pure profit. A lot of people think that you need to put 115%, but you don't. It is just 15%. This is min profit amount. It doesn't say min crafting slash profit amount. This is to cover all of your cost of crafting, but also 15% of your profits. So, so say for example, you're making an item that costs you 10 gold to make, right? And you're gonna sell it for 100 gold you're making way over 15% crafting cost, right? And you're making it quite a good profit on that. So this is definitely gonna craft that. But say you're making an item such as, uh, an item that costs you 100 gold, but it only brings you in 110 gold when sold, that's not gonna be crafted because it's under 15% crafting profits. You don't wanna do that. So that's what we're gonna stick with. Min restock, I don't like to leave this on 10. This is quite a large number, and I would put that as, as one, maybe two at max. Um, and I'd, I'd probably go for that. Min restock is one, and max restock is two. If you if you don't want to craft one of each thing all the time, you can set that to two and wait till you sold both of them before you go to restock and things like that. Now, what I would also do is I'd duplicate this right here, and I'd call this times 20. And then I'd do another one called times 10. And all you'd be effectively doing with these is every time you sell all 10 of these items, it would restock. And this is really good for things like bandages or bags or things of that nature. It's just you good to have these type of operations available. Now that's the crafting operations done. Now it's time to do the auctioning. So this is where we post it onto the auction house, all right? So let's just close that there and we open up the auctioning one now. Let's have a look here. And let's have a look at what it has. It's got a bunch of, of, of information and we're just getting hit. Oh, it's all over my face, all this information. I don't want it. So <laughs> we're gonna change this. First of all, I always like to post for 12 hours at a time. 24 hours is just a bit too much for me. So I go for 12 hours. It just works perfectly because I'm on a full pop realm. That's the way it is sometimes. Post cap, I only want to post two of each item on the auction house at any one time. Don't want to post any more than that. Undercut, always leave the undercut amount at zero copper. You do not need to do a value undercut. A value undercut is basically where you undercut by one copper, two copper, a gold, a million gold, whatever it is, right? You don't need to do that because the undercut in World of Warcraft works like this. Whichever person posted that item last is the official cheapest auction. Even if they're all the same price, whoever posted last is the undercutter. It doesn't need to be a value undercut, it just needs to be the same price, but the most recent post. So if someone undercuts you at the same value, it's because their post is just a little bit sooner. So just cancel yours and repost it. All right, so minimum price, maximum price, and normal price. So this here is the minimum, the very minimum that you are willing to take from this, uh, this exchange of goods. All right, so you have to bear in mind that you got your deposit cost and your auction house is also going to take a 5% um, off the top in terms of just value for themselves. So you need to make sure that it's worth your time. So for this, I usually do 15% crafting, 115% crafting. 115% crafting. There you go. Minimum price is 115% crafting. Now, this is important because it doesn't say profit here. It says minimum price. So we always want to include the actual cost of crafting in this, not just the profit. That's what I typically do anyway. Okay, so uh, for maximum price, you can go ahead and put any number that you're, you're comfortable with. In this instance, we're just going to go for 400% uh, crafting 
because this is realistically the very maximum that item is going to get posted. You can then put for a normal price and normal price is basically the price of a, an item when no one else has posted that item on the auction house. Uh, this is going to be, let's say, 250% crafting. And there we have it. We've now got crafting costs. So when I go ahead and click my groups and we go back to tailoring like here, we can go to items just here and we can select which ones we want. So for default, I'm happy to keep default for auctions because we've just changed the auctioning's uh, operations. Now for the crafting, we'd go ahead and we'd select default times 10 times 20, depending on what it is we want to do. So in this instance, I'm going to keep it as default, but say I wanted to have a group which specifically dealt with bandages. So times 20, I'll call this group. I would go ahead and I would change that crafting to times 20 like so and if i wanted to do an auctioning operation uh, for this where i post 20 i'd say change that post cap to 20 and the same thing would, would happen times 20 nice and easy so i go back to groups and i change that operation for posting operation to times 20 nice and easy makes sense right everyone's uh, understanding what's going on there so now when i would go to the auction house i'm just going to click post because i've got a bunch of items in my bags it should technically post some of these items as well right now it will go ahead and it will actually post these items at the values that i've set it to do so basically and that should work for you all hunky dory easy peasy and you can use this for every single profession out there now say you don't want to go through all of the effort of following along with what i've just done in this video that's completely fine check out my patreon and just copy along my strings i'll show you an example so right here, this is uh, my tier one of Patreon. I've got another tier uh, here as well, which is tier two. I'm not going to show that. I never show that on stream or on uh, YouTube videos. It's just there's some stuff in there that even the titles could potentially ruin farms. So I don't want to do that. Uh, so I keep it in ga gaming here, tier one. And for TSM add-on strings, we can just go here. And this will open up all of my various different TSM strings. So I've got uh, flipping strings for island expedition transmogs, enchanting, tailoring, engineering, general transmog strings for just posting transmogs, that type of thing. So I'm going to go here and then we're going to double click. So we can double click that right there. And then we copy it. And this is all I have to do. And then go to TSM right here. Go down to Trade Skill Master. Go to groups, and then you see where it says import group? We're going to go ahead and paste that information in there. And these are all of the information that I've got for tailoring. Import. Now, it has remade this group for us with all the information in that I've gone ahead and created over the last few years of obviously just using ta uh, tailoring TSM. And that's it. And now I can go ahead and just run a post scan if I wanted to. And everything would post at the values that I so wanted to. Make sense? I really hope this video helped you in some way and just gave you a basic understanding of how to get started with TSM because it is quite complicated. But I'm really hoping this on a whole will just help everyone out there who's struggling with just getting their head around it because it's quite a complicated thing, right? And uh, thank you so much for watching. This is a Rosie Mount, and I will see you next time. Join the Discord in the description uh, for the best World of Warcraft community possible. Uh, if you've got any questions, I've got a team of mods there who are more than happy to help you out with anything World of Warcraft or even gaming related. Thanks for watching. This is a Rosium out.